I can see you. This is video two out of three for how to make 2017 the best year ever. If you can, in case you missed the live yesterday, I did a live yesterday speaking on secret number one, today's secret number two, and tomorrow's gonna to be secret number three. So if you haven't watched yesterday's, make sure you go back and watch it because today's video just builds on secret number one. So for today, the, the secret with making 2017 the best year ever, the first thing I wanna to touch on is feeding your mind. Often in society with all the media, the publicity, with all the stuff and the advertising going on around us, we're actually not conscious as to what we're taking in on board into our subconscious mind in a very alert way. And the more we start paying attention to what we're feeding our mind and what thoughts we're taking on board, the more we can actually have a more empowered life. So making an effort to actually feed your mind with things that you want to feed it with. If you want to listen to something empowering, if you want to be empowered throughout the day, then watch empowering things, listen to empowering things, um, videos, podcasts, uh, audios, anything. Uh, with regard to feeding your mind, it's music as well. There's lyrics and song and everything's vibration. What kind of conversations are you having? Are you having empowered conversations? And how does this relate to how you want to move into 2017? Is what you're feeding your mind with aligned with what the direction that you want to move in? For those of you as well that have any questions, just put it in the comments down below and I will get to that towards the, towards the end. Hi, Jason. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Just put them in the comments below. Um, so it's, it's very much about being conscious about what you're feeding your mind with and if that aligns with your vision for 2017. On another note as well, it's about planning, but I like to call it directional planning because it's not just about planning and setting a goal and it being fixed in stone. It's n not everything is going to go according to plan, if ever. And the more we can understand and accept that and realize that and be kind to ourselves about that, the more we can actually be open to the gifts that the universe has to give us. So it's not necessarily about setting the goal and achieving that, but it's about having the direction and the intention of the, the direction that you want to move in for 2017. And I touched on it in the last video, um, secret number one, where it's about deciding what it is that you want for 2017. So when you look at what it is that you desire for, so for example, if you desire that you want to be more healthy and more fit, what does that look like to you? What do you need to listen to? What do you need to read? What kind of conversations do you need to have? What kind of people do you need to surround yourself by in order to be aligned with achieving that, that vision that you have for yourself? Because if you're not, if you're surrounding yourself with people who like to have fast food and who don't exercise and don't like to go to the gym um, and sleep in all day, every day, then that's not going to be aligned with the direction that you want to move in. With directional planning as well, it's about working backwards. It's about looking at what kind of resources do you need to have in order to achieve that? Is it, you know, typically with resources, we think about time and money. What days can I go? How much money do I need to spend? But instead of looking at the traditional, what, what do you need in order to achieve what it is that you're after? Think about what kind of stuff internally do you need to do or tap into and remember in order to be aligned and create and manifest what it is that you desire. So for example, what kind of mindset do you need to have, hence feeding your mind? What kind of skills do you need to learn? What 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 does your level of health need to be for you to and for you in order to achieve that's not very good English. In order for you to achieve what it is that you're desiring. And again, letting go of the attachment of the desired outcome because you might actually find that you might have a desired um, goal that you would like, but as long as you're heading in the right direction, the universe may actually show you more of deeper opportunities and more things that you didn't realize was possible for yourself, but you need to have an open mind and just know which direction you're moving in in order to let that into your your mind and into your energy field. It's definitely also about deciding consciously if you want to educate and inspire yourself 
to motivate you, um, to help you with your discipline, with your persistence in achieving that goal. There are so many people who set New Year's resolutions and they don't continue throughout the year. And it's because of that lack of consistency and support and setting in a direction with certain pivot points that you can do, maybe not pivot points, certain landmarks that you can choose to do. Like for example, setting little, little mini goals for yourself in order to get there. Um, but if you guys have anything else, if anything else that you want to share, comment, um, ask, just put it on the comments below. And if you guys want to know more about how to move this into a direction of how you can stay consistent with it all, then just click on the link below www.thenewview.com forward slash GNGR membership to join the nudie family. And I look forward to hearing and speaking and connecting with you guys very, very, very soon. It's Nina Concepcion here. I hope you guys have an amazing second last day of 2016. Much love. Bye.